I was reading the news, and uh, maybe a couple weeks ago now, we had uh, we had read that Tesla, and they are building electric cars. That the, the inventor, the owner of the company, he he has a patent on the technology, and he has decided that he is not going to sue anyone who wants to. He's just going to give them the technology to yeah. make the car. Whoever wants to do it. And uh, have you read anything about this? What, what do you know about that? It sounds pretty crazy, huh, Nate? <laughs> what, what is he doing? Yeah, he says he had a, a whole, when you walked in the hall of their company, he had the whole the whole wall was filled with patents that, that they had for to embrace the technology that they came up with. And then he took them all off the wall. And his, his idea was that when they first started with the company, he thought, Everyone's going to copy this, and, and, we're, and they're going to drive us out of business, kind of like they did with DeLorean. You know, DeLorean's going to come up with this better car than everybody else, and we're going to figure out any way just to drive them out. You know, but but that really didn't happen. Nobody copied them. Um, the the uh, the all the major um, automobile companies devote like less than one percent of their of their fleet that they produce into cars that have uh, um, electric power. And in some of the major cor car corporations don't have any cars that they produce at all that with zero emissions whatsoever. Not, not one car, they, they come off the line. So what, what he was afraid of really, really hasn't happened. And, and he said that the reason that they, they're doing this is because they're, they're over, their, their major goal, their mission statement, is to make the world a better place in in way that, in ways that others can't, and that's stop these two billion cars on the road. We have two billion cars on the road from emitting carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide into the atmosphere, minute after minute, day after day, day, just filling it. And and, and I, you know the Republicans and the Democrats could fight all they want, but I don't see how anybody could argue that putting all that into the air is good for anybody or anything. You know, especially from our, uh, you know, is, is, you know, we're talking about global warming and all that other stuff, but just for health purposes, just having to breathe that in. I wonder what it would be like to breathe in the air from, you know, a couple hundred years ago before the automobile was here. You That'd know, be nice. <laughs> well, I, I took a ride in a Tesla the other day. What a what a car! It was, you know, I think it was ninety eight thousand dollar car. It was like the Batmobile, the future Mat Batmobile. It had, you know, a screen. They had a, a website up on the screen. Mm -hmm. It was like not one button in the whole thing. There wasn't an engine in the front or the back. They had two trunks. It was it was really a marvelous thing. It, it really kind of got me motivated to think, you know, that you know this is this is definitely the way of the future. At least it's what our, what we should we should be looking towards.